After the 3 and the 3T, the OnePlus 5 is finally on Android Oreo. Okay, not exactly. It's on the Oxygen OS open beta build based on Android 8 Oreo. In this video, let's take a look at the changes and the new features brought with it, and do a little speed test comparison with the stable Oxygen OS 4.5 build based on Nougat. Hey guys, this is Sundar, you're watching C4E Tech, and before we start, if you do end up liking this video and finding it useful, hit thumbs up, subscribe, and that bell icon. Let's get started. Like I said, this is an open beta build, so do expect some bugs to crop up every now and then, but then again, it's good enough to give us a taste of things to come, right? Let's begin with some native Oreo features. First up, picture in picture, which basically lets you watch videos while performing other tasks. Say you have to reply to a message or check mail, you can do that without having to entirely come out of the video player. Apps do need to be updated to support this new API. As of now, the list of supported apps include VLC, and that means over 100 million users are covered already. The quick settings look different now. The blue accent looks nice, and I'm sure most of you would feel the same. Not a useful feature, but a welcome aesthetic change. What is useful is Oreo's autofill and smart text selection feature. Just double tap on the text and it knows what to select and which app to open it with. Say I double tap here, the address is automatically selected, and there's an option that lets me search for it in Google Maps. Cool. Another minor change is that you can now upload your best clicks to shot on OnePlus directly from the gallery. It's submitted to photos.oneplus.net and has a chance to be featured as the photo of the day on its main page. The launch has gone through some modifications as well. The obvious difference here is the new folder design. Other changes include the ability to uninstall, edit label or view app information when you long press an app and see those actions there? You can track them to the home screen. Say I prefer going incognito every time, it's easier than ever now. Oreo's notification dots also makes an appearance here. Just tap and hold, you get a condensed version of the notifications. Nice. What OnePlus haven't borrowed from the native Oreo build is the revamped settings menu. It's the same as what we've previously seen. That said, the app section has gone through an overhaul. Just like on the 5T, it has app permissions, special access settings, and so on under the same roof. Talking about things borrowed from the 5T, we now have parallel apps on the OnePlus 5, which creates an additional instance of an app. Two WhatsApp or Skype accounts on the same device is now a reality. But sadly, the much praised face unlock feature of the 5T didn't make the cut here. I still have my fingers crossed, maybe it will make its way to the stable update. Anyway, let's now look at performance. Is it better or worse? Well, let's find out. Let's do a little speed test between the Nougat and Oreo builds. We have the same set of apps installed, the phone's connected to the same wireless network and has nothing in the background. Opening up Temple Run 2, loads up faster on Nougat. Oreo is trying to catch up. Both are now loading Asphalt 8. The OnePlus 5 on Nougat finishes the performance round in 53 seconds. On Oreo, it takes a few more seconds, four to be precise. On to the memory management round. Both on Nougat and Oreo, the OnePlus 5 manages to keep everything in memory. No app is reloaded. On Nougat, the OnePlus 5 finishes the test in a minute and 12 seconds. On Oreo, it takes three seconds more. Well, if you're disappointed, don't be. This is a beta build and it's highly encouraging to see one of the fastest Android phones perform quite as fast even on a beta build. So hopefully we can expect the performance to improve in coming weeks. By the way, the OnePlus 3 and 3T are already on stable builds of Oreo-based Oxygen OS. If you'd want coverage on that, do let us know in the comments below. So that's it for this video. If you know anyone who's got a OnePlus 5, do share this video with them and also give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to C4E Tech for more. Hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a video goes live here on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This here is Sundar, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.